we're about to take a dark and downright horrifying journey that starts and ends just outside of Miami, Florida. Miami is a legendary city where people of all walks of life can enjoy the beautiful beaches and sun during the day and a vibrant nightlife that rivals even the most opulent destinations in the world. For one couple, after a long night of heavy drinking, those Miami dreams were shattered permanently. On September 15th, 2015, at 3.39 a.m., police received a call from a frantic man. 911, what is your emergency? Hello? The distraught man on the phone was Fidel Lopez, who just moments earlier had apparently walked into the bathroom that he shared with his girlfriend, Maria Nemeth, and found her lying cold and lifeless. The call brought officers to apartment 308 at the Colonnade Residences in the 1600 block of Northwest 128th Drive in Sunrise, Florida. They were flagged down by Fidel, and when they entered inside the apartment, police found Fidel kneeling next to Maria's body, crying while trying to shake her awake. Blood surrounded Maria's body on the bathroom floor. Something was alarmingly odd, though. There were holes bashed into the walls. Body tissue was found in a closet. The walls were smeared with blood. The crime scene was horrifically gruesome, and Fidel couldn't really explain any of it. Maria Nemeth was pronounced dead at 4.02 a.m. According to a Broward County Medical Examiner's report, Maria died from losing too much blood after she had been eviscerated. The police brought Lopez in, and although he said he had no answers, there were still many questions to be asked. Fidel was still inside the police interview room when he was placed under arrest and shackled to the floor at 1.36 p.m., about 10 hours after he had called 911. This is the interrogation of Fidel Lopez. going to talk about what happened tonight all right uh we're going to go everything in detail obviously uh what i want to do is go over your rights waiver form um this is your rights i'm going to read you each thing uh you're going to answer i'm going to have you sign and then uh we'll take a step yeah, i don't know how to read in english so just read it i'll read it you understand english though correct? Yeah, I do. okay and um what what i'm sorry you're in spanish right uh what um where'd you go to school I went to Nova High School. Um, did you graduate? No, I did not. What year did you go to? Uh, I went uh, to um, 10th grade. 10th grade? Okay. And uh, you have a job? I have a job. Where do you work? I work on um, 595 truck stop right. as a mechanic. Mechanic? How long have you done that? Uh, but I just started there. Like, uh, I've been there for a month already. A month? Mm -hmm. Okay. And... Um, have you lived in the United States? When did you move here? Where are you from? To the United States. I'm from Cuba. From Cuba? When did you move here? Um, to the United States, um, 2007. 2007? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you understand English, but you can read Spanish? Uh, yeah, I understand English. You know, speak it a little bit. Um, if I, you know, if okay, I'm so what I do, I'm going to get, I'm going to read this to you in English, mm -hmm. and I have a Spanish form that I'll also have you sign. Okay, right, just cool. so you understand, I just want to, you know, um, you came here today voluntarily to provide a statement about what happened last night? Yeah. Okay. Um, no threats or promises have been made to you. We've been... No, 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 I just came here. I just yeah, want to find out what this she's dead. I just, what, what happened to her. Okay. Just, and that's what we want to do, too. What, that's what we want to know. All right. Um, so we're going to, we're going to talk about that. But like I said, let's first go over your form, and then we'll we'll go on from there. Okay. So print your name here. Maria Nemeth and Fidel Lopez had been together for about a year. Maria was recently separated after an eight-year marriage, and Fidel was living with the mother of his two small children when he met Maria at a club when they hit it off. As the relationship became serious, they moved in together. First in Hollywood, Florida, then with Fidel's family in Hialeah as they looked for a new place. 
The couple had moved into a new apartment at Colonnade Residences in Sunrise, where Maria was a manager, about a week before the incident. All right. Um, so let's start with, who do you live with over at uh, Colonnades? Is it a Colonnades or it's uh, Colonnades? Colonnades. Who do you live with there? Uh, I live with her, with Maria Nemeth. Okay, Maria, what's Maria's last name? Maria Nemeth. But do you, can you spell that? Uh, Nemeth is uh, um, N-E-M-E-T-H. Okay, Nemeth. all right. How long have you guys been together? We've been together for about a year and year and two months, almost, you know. Okay, and how long have you been in the apartment over here in Sunrise? I've been here about a, since day, like a week. A week? Yeah. Okay. Um, where did you live prior to that? Uh, uh, before, uh, before. Where did you live before you lived in the apartment? Hialeah. Hialeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. Did you live together in Hialeah? Yeah, we lived together in Hialeah. We, we also were, were living on Hollywood Beach. Then we moved to Hialeah for a month. Then we came here. Okay, so Hollywood Beach. Hollywood Beach. Hialeah. Hialeah. Sunrise. And Sunrise. And each time you lived together, you and yeah, Maria? Yeah, me and her. Okay. Um, who did you live with in Hialeah? I, I mean with, with her, Maria, but who did who else did you live in with? In my house, uh, in the big house, it was me, my brother, my mother, and her. Okay. Before, so all your family. Yeah, all family. And where, where's her family at? Uh, her family, the, she had family in Hialeah also. Okay. Uh, her dad is uh, living in Pompano. Pompano. Uh huh. And her mother and sisters, yeah, they're in Peru. Okay. So how? Um, is she in contact with her mom and her, her dad? Yeah, she, she was, you know, like by Facebook, and, you know, things like that. She, she don't have a phone. We, we're about to buy a phone. But I mean, do they, they see each other often or they have a good relationship? Um, her and, and the aunts, um, you know, because the aunts don't like her because she was drinking too much, like, like I was telling you, like, and... You know, but besides that, her her mother and things like that, they, they always, you know, see we share the, the share with cameras and things like that. Yeah. Like WhatsApp and applications like that, so. Okay. But, they, you know, they're, they're cool. I mean, so she she works at the complex? She works at the complex. With, how long has she worked there? Uh, to be honest with you, I believe it's like around, like uh, about five, six years. You know what she does there? Uh, yeah, she's a system manager. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, she passed the checks, uh, she works apartments, see the damage and things like that, reporter. Okay. Yeah. That, that's at the colonnade where you live? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, um, you guys have been together for over a year. Uh, exclusive? You guys, boyfriend, girlfriend, no other... No. Has no. she ever been married before? Yeah, she was. She was. Yeah. How long, how, when was that? Uh, she was married for eight years. Eight years? Uh, Do you have any and... children? No. Children okay. have any children. Have you ever been married before? No. Do you have any children? I do. You do how many? I have two. Two? Mm -hmm. uh, boy or girl? Two boys. Two boys? How old are they? One of them is a year and a half, and the other one's almost two years. Year and a half, two years. I mean, one of them is a year and, and like one month, and yeah. the other one's almost two years. I just have one next to the other. Okay. Where do they live? I uh, live with the mother. Um, that's a university, and I don't forget the I forget the road, so it's just it's, it's close by. Yeah. So your one son was born right when you kind of when you got together with Maria. Uh exactly. Yeah. The the last one is uh we just met at the you know right like right at the same almost the same. So moment. you you lived together with her the the mother of your children did you? Yeah, I was living and together you with her. her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I wasn't living with Maria when I met her. I mean, okay. you know, yeah. I met Maria, you know, we met up and we always hang up on, you know, go to clubs and things like that. Yeah. And then we decided to, you know, to, you know, to make something formal and something serious. So, okay. like, how did you, you know, get, how did you guys meet? Uh, we met in a club. I mean, I was just, uh, you know, trying to buy a pizza. And she was in the parking lot with the car and, you know, it just met outside of a club. Cool. I mean, something. Where do you guys usually go out? 
Uh, we we don't go out no more. In the beginning, we used to go out every club. So. Okay. Uh, but that's for the first month, and after that, then when we decide to be together and you know make things a little bit more serious, then we uh, we just go to movies or we go to just uh, chilies, things like that. You know. After a long day at work on a Saturday, Fidel, who worked as a mechanic at a truck stop, went home to Maria. She had prepared a meal of chicken with rice and beans for dinner before they drove to Hialeah to spend time with Fidel's mother. Later that night, the pair went to a Chili's restaurant near their apartment and had a couple of margaritas. Then, they stopped by ABC Fine Wine and Spirits, where they bought a bottle of tequila and took it back to the apartment. Uh, nothing of with clubs and... Yeah, so you're more settled down now and... Uh, yeah, when Movies, dinner... Yeah, you know, so you know like something the, normal, like something like. that... You know, out of the bad life, you know, okay. you know what I mean? Because clubs and chili, they always bring you bad things. Yeah. So. And you guys just socially drink or? Uh, yeah, man, we, we like to drink. Yeah. I mean, I don't consider myself like, as an alcoholic, but I like to drink. I like to have my beer once in a while. And, you know, when we move here, the all this day we've been drinking, you no know, like 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 a lot, like uh, every day, is because I have to go to work. Yeah. But when I come back from my work, I would drink a couple of beers. Okay. You so know. What about Maria? Maria, the same thing. She she don't drink unless I, unless I drink. You know. So she, she was a she likes to drink, but she knows I get mad if she drinks by herself because I know she get like a little crazy when she drink. Okay. So, but. Um, since, uh, since I'm off today, yesterday I told her, hey, you know, let's go to Chili's, we bought some, you know, margaritas, mm -hmm. and then after that we go to the uh, a ABC or something like that, it's a liquor store, right? Yeah, Probably yeah, so there. let's go, so let's start today, you're, you worked, today's Sunday. Today's Sunday. Yesterday was Saturday, did, did you work Saturday? Yeah, I worked Saturday. Okay, what time did you get off? I get up around, around 4.20. Around 420. Exactly. I have the I have my papers and my receipt. And what about her? 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 What time is she? And she went she went to work also she went to work yesterday. She she don't work weekends, but she went uh, to the office yeah. uh, for a couple hours, two hours. Okay. Come to the day. All right, so um, you get off work and you come home to the apartment or you go somewhere else? No, I went straight to the apartment, uh take a shower. And then um, uh, she, she was cooking dinner, it was ready made. And what, what did you guys eat? At, at the house. Yeah, what did you eat? What did, what did you guys uh, have? We, uh, she made chicken, mm -hmm. chicken, um, and uh, beans and rice. Okay. So we just eat and we went to Miami um, uh, to see my mother. Around what time was that? Mm. That was around 7 o'clock. Seven o'clock. Six thirty to seven, seven forty, something like that. Okay. Then when we get out from from Hialeah, we, we just we just went straight to the to the the Chili's, right next to the apartment. Okay, so you went to Chili's before going back home. Uh, exactly. Okay. All right. Exactly. And you got the Chili's around what time? Oh, we get to Chili's around like eight o'clock, eight o'clock, eight fifteen. Something like that. But I'm not pretty sure, but it's, it was just something like that. Okay. And then how long did you stay there for? We stayed there for like an hour, an hour and 15 minutes, an hour and 20 minutes. Okay. We only drink, uh, she drank one uh, one margarita. I drink two margaritas. Actually, we drink uh, one and a half each of us. So, okay. Know, because the other one we, we split. Uh, shared. Uh, yeah, we shared. Was anybody else with you? No, no. just me and her. Okay. And um, the bartender. We went just straight to the bar. We we were on the table, nothing like that. What and who? Uh, you got a car? A, a, a car? Do you have? You drive? I drive, but uh, I'm using her car. Using her car. Yeah. Okay, what kind of car does she have? She have a Scion TC 2009. A what? Scion TC. Scion. Scion. Oh, Scion. Scion. Okay. Scion. All right. Um, so you use her car when you have to go to work or when yeah, you have to go Yeah, uh, you know, she would just walk to the office and she don't need to use the car. So then I'm using the car to go to my job. And, yeah, you know. absolutely. Okay, so you guys go get the chilies, have uh, margarita. Then what do you guys go? Um, and we went to the liquor store, to ABC, right? 
in front of uh, the sawgrass mall, the side, and uh, yeah, I know what I'm talking about. And then we buy a bottle of um, um, 18, 1800, something like that. Okay. I, I, I never drink that before, so that's tequila, yeah, that's tequila, it's okay. tequila. So, all right, we buy that. We went to the house around what time did you get back to the house? Fidel said that they hadn't gotten around to buying furniture for the apartment, so they grabbed a couple of cardboard boxes to use as a makeshift table. They cut some limes and used some salt as they poured themselves shots while they played music on a cell phone. Together, they finished half of a bottle of 1800 Reposado tequila when the evening took a terrifying turn. Something set Fidel off and he tore through the apartment, shattering the sliding glass door, punching holes in the drywall, and ripping out the closet door. I mean, you, uh, you well, so it, it wasn't like not far away from. It wasn't not even ten o'clock, I believe. So. So before ten. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Maybe before ten. Before ten. Anybody at the house when you get back? No, sir. All right. Uh, no one lives with you. Just you two live there together. Yeah, you just. You didn't have anybody over. No one visiting. No, nobody. Nobody. Okay. nobody. Um, all right. So tell me about the night from when you get back to the house. Tell me what happened. Okay, um, we get to the house, she was already like kind of tipsy from the margaritas and chilies. Um, you know, we start to drink, um, we put like two car cardboard, uh, you know, boxes in the floor, we put the lime on top and, you know, because we don't have furniture, so we're about to buy, now when I get paid, we're about to buy furniture, TV, the, the TV, and things like that, you know? Okay. And so we put the two boxes on the floor in the on the dinner room, and then we start drinking and talking and listening music, and you know we have a lot of shock of the of tequila. Then I don't know, you know, uh, in my in my position, me I can handle it, you know I can handle drinks, because some you know sometimes uh, you know you go a little crazy. And she was she was a lot crazy, and so she was asking me for stuff that she never asked me for for that before. So, like what? You know, like you know the thing with the arm and like that, and you know I never done that sh with nobody, especially with her. So. Uh, so what? Explain what what kind of stuff was she asking? What do you mean with the arm? I mean, it's, first she she start talking like. Uh, something like you know, like uh, I was uncomfortable with it, you know, like uh, one day I want you, I want you to put a bottle, on, 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 you know. You know. I'm sorry, I'm just talking right now with you guys. Yeah, yeah. You know, I want you to be know, open and respect free. her, and absolutely, and you know, you're, not, dis you're not disrespecting her. You're just telling us what she told you, yeah. what she had, what I she know, wanted but, you to do. You know, and it's no disres not disrespectful. Uh, you know, I'm a man. I'm I'm her man. So whatever she asks me, I do it. Okay. You know, whatever it is, I don't care what it is. Even if she want me to put my hand in her pussy, I put it. Okay. I put it. After some coaxing, Fidel begins to open up about some details. Fidel has, at this point, introduced a sexual aspect into the discussion. Fidel recalls that Maria asked him to insert various objects into her for her pleasure, including a bottle and his arms. Object insertion for gratification isn't exactly shocking news, but two specific details stand out. One of those details is the types of objects, namely a glass beer bottle and Fidel's arms, not just fingers or a hand, Fidel's arms up to his elbow. The second detail is one that investigators would soon learn from the medical examiner, which is what caused Maria's death from blood loss, also known as exsanguination. Maria was disemboweled through her vaginal cavity. She suffered major trauma to her perineum, which allowed her digestive system to be able to be ripped out through her reproductive organs. So she was telling me that, and then I don't, I'm, I don't remember really uh, if I did it with the bottle too, or if I no, because I really, I was really, really, really. What, what kind of, what kind of bottle are you talking about? It's a beer bottle. A beer bottle. Okay. All right. So and, she, what, what did, so what ended up happening? I know she was asking you to do these things. Yeah, what she was asking me all those stuff, and uh, you know, I was starting feeling like uncomfortable, like you know, because. She never asked for that, and I know she was tipsy. And, but um, when we were doing stuff and all the things, uh, she told me she wanted to throw up to get out of the bathroom. Mm -hmm. So I get out of the bathroom, 
and I would, yeah, I was outside, so I believe I was smoking a cigarette. I don't remember if the door was already break or something. I really don't know. I know I break it because she she don't, she is not strong enough to break it. What door are we talking about? The, the, the glass door. I, 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 I just remember I see glass in the floor, man. I really don't remember when I break it or why I break it. You know, to be honest with you, I really don't, don't remember. Okay. The only thing I remember clearly is that I went to the bathroom and she was like, you know, breathing. She was like, like this. Fidel recalls that when he and Maria returned home after being out for the evening, they began taking shots of straight tequila on a makeshift table made from boxes. During intercourse, Maria requested that Fidel insert various objects into her, to which Fidel obliged. While engaging in intercourse with one another, Maria needed to vomit and went to the bathroom. Fidel says that he went outside to smoke a cigarette, but upon returning, he saw her breathing irregularly. Due to the cause and manner of Maria's death, as well as Fidel's impersonation of how Maria was breathing, we can safely assume that Maria was experiencing agonal breathing. Agonal breathing is when someone who is not getting enough oxygen is gasping for air. It is not true breathing and is instead a natural reflex that happens when your brain is not getting the oxygen that it needs to survive. Because Maria was suffering from massive blood loss, there was likely not enough blood left in her body, blood that was needed to circulate and replenish the oxygen in her brain. Agonal breathing is a sign that a person is near death. The investigators believe that there is some truth to parts of Fidel's story, but as mentioned earlier, his apparent liquor-induced selective memory does nothing but arouse more suspicion. And then it's when I called 911. And where, where was she? In she was like uh, between the toilet and the, and the, the shower thing. I just only like, and I thought she was throwing in the, in the shower, I mean, but you know, she wasn't. I mean, you thought she was throwing up? I thought she was throwing up, but you know, I don't hear any noise, so I'm not to go where she comes for, and I'm getting straight to that she wasn't breathing. Uh, you know, she was, she was constant, she was talking to me. Yeah. You know, but you know, one moment I get so so nervous and scared, and then I get the phone and call 911 because she was getting worse and worse. And you know, I don't know. Who's, and whose phone did you use to call 911? The, 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 the Y phone, I mean, I don't remember what I, from, we were listening music with a phone and the Bluetooth. Okay. All right. Uh, but I really don't, don't, don't remember where I grabbed the phone for. I called 911 and then, and then when I was going to call 911 again, I didn't find the phone. I don't remember if it should take it or if it should throw it or something. What I remember is that I put a bandit in the phone. The battery? Yeah, the battery in the phone. I don't remember where really where I find it, but I put the battery in the phone and called 911 again. But when before I call, I went outside and I see you guys. So it's when I tell the police officers or whatever were there, like, come up, it's right here. Now, when you called 911, was she, was she still breathing? No, man, she wasn't. She wasn't breathing. She wasn't. I was trying to give her CPR, man. I, I remember I was kissing her, put some air in her stomach, was like, up and down, I mean, she wasn't breathing. I, mean, I don't know when somebody is there or not because I've well, never seen the body before. Okay. The damage to the apartment that Maria was found in was extensive. On top of the massive amounts of blood staining, there was damage to walls, fixtures, interior doors, and the rear glass sliding door had been shattered as well. Fidel admits to being responsible for breaking the glass door and damaging the rest of the apartment, but he has a difficult time recalling why he did it or what happened that sent him into such a turbulent fit of rage. As the investigators have already noted, and will continue to note, this doesn't make much sense. Fidel has no problem recalling non-incriminating details, but is clueless about details that any reasonable person would be crystal clear on. Is Fidel just prone to outbursts of violence, or is he hiding something? You I mean, said um, when you first went into the bathroom and you saw her, she was breathing. She was breathing. She was constant. Okay. All right. She was a. And, and that's what I called 911. And where was she in the bathroom again? She was like in the toilet, between the toilet and the and the and the shower. The the, the Okay. The is thing. is it a is it a shower or a bathtub? 
Yeah, the, the, the bath. So it's like, not just like a, a, like, a, like a jacuzzi. Okay, you know. so it's not a, just a stand-up shower. No, if you want to no. take a bath, you can take a bath in it. Exactly, exactly. I'm sorry. I mean, I don't know how to say that. No, no, that's yeah, okay. Yeah. It's, it's okay. A, like a, was she in the tub? No. I was, I was trying to put her there, but I couldn't lift her up. I, mean, I was strong. And I don't want her to hit her head or hit something or something. You right, know? right, sure. You know? And uh, but the last thing I do is just put some cold water on her face. I open the shower okay. and put some cold water on her face to see if she reacts. And I start, hey, baby, you okay? Baby, you okay? I start screaming like a motherfucker and nobody here. You know? I don't know. Neighbors might be here, might be here me scream. Okay. I was screaming for, for help. Right. Is that what yeah. you were screaming is help? Yeah, I was screaming for help, man. Screaming anything else? No, man. I was just... Baby, why you do this to me, baby? Wake up, baby. Help, help, help. Right. You know, because I don't know the address. Sure. I just call 911 and tell them, hey, reach my number or something. I don't know how do you guys work. I mean, like, I know you guys could have the system, you know, where the call come from, but, you right. know. So when you, you you say that you, you dialed 911 the first time and you're, you're screaming okay. during that time. Okay, I was, uh, uh, what? Were you screaming? You called 911 the first time. I called 911 the first time. Yep. Okay. Did you well, actually speak to somebody? I speak to somebody. Okay. I All spoke right. to somebody, but uh, she was asking me, where are you? The address, you know, I was so nervous that I just took the phone. May I also want to throw the phone away and put it away then. Stop, baby, and scream on her because I was so nervous and I, had, I really don't have the patience to deal with the address that I don't know. Where. Yeah, don't I know my girl is dying right there, man. You know what it is? Uh, you know, and when I was going to call for second time, that I find the phone, I went outside and I see the police and everything. Okay. You know, but it's, that's, that's what happened, man. Just fucking... Okay, so let's, let's go in a little more detail about from when you guys start drinking and, and become sexually active to when she ends up in the bathroom. Okay. okay, we need to talk about that time. Okay. okay. Um, what kind of sexual acts did you perform tonight? Fidel claims he was too drunk to remember what had made him so angry, but he said he and Maria made up and had rough sex inside the closet. Maria would eventually end up in the bathroom after she said that she needed to throw up. After hours of questioning about what Maria might have said or done to trigger the vicious assault, Fidel would eventually change his story. What did you guys do? What I can tell you, I didn't care. Okay. That's, that's one thing I can tell you for sure. For sure, I didn't care. Okay. Did you have intercourse? Did you put your penis inside of her? Yeah. Okay, did yeah. you wear a condom? And no, I did. We didn't. We didn't even open the new box. We buy a, a box of condoms today. Um, yesterday, last night, we buy a new box of condom with the bottle. We buy the bottle, and then we went to the gas station. Okay. We buy the condoms. Okay. Now, now I got that. Okay. We buy the condoms, and then we went. You know, but I don't use any condom at all. I, I don't even touch the, the, the new pack, so okay. it, maybe it's still there. You, you can see if you, you guys go to your okay. picture, okay. you will okay. see okay. it. And then, you know, she was, you know, I, I was strong. She was strong. She was telling me for me to do stuff that I've never done before with nobody, especially with her. Okay. And, you know. I know it might be a little embarrassing. Or you might want to. Don't worry, man. But listen, I want, you, you need to do. I want you to tell me what kind of things. Because you're saying she's asking you to do things, I want you to explain. She want me to put my, you know, my arm on her pussy, and you know, stuff like that. And you know, like a open mind and her parents said, so I don't know. Okay, and what what type of things did you do? I know she's asking you. What did you actually? Do? Everything she told me to do, I do it. Okay. Which is what? What did she ask you to do? I put my arm on her pussy. Uh, I put my dick on her pussy. I believe I got the bottle. It was a small bottle. It was like a beer bottle or something like that. And she wanted me to put there too. You know, I just tried to make her happy. Mm -hmm. Whatever. I understand. But she was constant. She was not. She she wasn't like no cow or something like that. I would never do that to my girl. No okay. cow. You know. Okay. That's that's not me, man. That's not me. But once we're when we're doing the thing with the arm, that was the last thing. 
she, she was telling me, I need to throw up. I don't feel good or something like that. Where, where then, did this take place? Huh? Where was this when that happened? In the bathroom. You were in the bathroom. It was, we start. We start from 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 the from the like. I think we start in the in the in the closet. I don't remember pretty well, but we were in the closet too, man. You know. Okay, so let's go step by drum. step. You guys start. Uh, you said you had some boxes and you set up like a little area. Listen, you're playing some music. I know we I know we have. I know I put my arm in there. I know I put a bottle. But to be honest with you, details, details, details like that, I cannot tell you, man. I was drunk just like her. Okay. I was drunk just like her. You know, I would love to tell you every details, you know, and I'm, I'm doing my best right now. I understand. I understand. You know? We just want to make sure that we're, we have everything that occurred and happened so that when we look at her, we can understand what, what we got. Okay? That's all. And, you know, what I know, last, last thing is, when she told me get out of the bathroom, we were in the bathroom. Okay. But I know we went to the closet too. I don't remember when or where uh, or how, but we went to the closet. We, we, we were all around and like. What, what, what was going on in the closet? Uh, same thing. And uh, I believe the bottle thing it starts there or something like that. What, what other kind of things did you put inside her? Uh, was just the bottle, my arm, my. You know, that's it. The thing, you know, that's it. She was, she was crazy, man, and I was crazy too. When we walk, we walk for drunk. I mean, like, you know, I like. Fidel is trying to give a reason why everything happened to detectives, and mentions both he and Maria's heavy intoxication ad nauseum. He tries to skirt the responsibility almost completely, emphasizing that Maria was very drunk and that she can act crazy when she gets to that point. Fidel is trying to protect himself, an act known as self-preservation and tries to balance between having no recollection of, or responsibility for, what happened, and placing the impetus on Maria because of her wild behavior after drinking. She likes it. Sure, there's nothing wrong with and that. And when girls get drunk, and I get drunk, I mean, like, uh, whatever comes Listen, you're wrong, talking to two grown men, we understand. Mm -hmm. You know how it is, man. Um, now, so have you ever done anything like this before? No, man. Has she ever asked so you to be do honest anything with like you, this before? No. No, that's what I was kind of surprised today. You know, that's what I was kind of like a little surprised today because she never, we had to get drunk together, okay. but she never asked for that. But today she, she did it. I mean, I don't know because she drank too much. Okay, the first time I see her like drunk like this, yeah. I never see her like without freedom or things like that. I understand. You know? All right, tell, tell me about the argument. Tell me about any issue, the argument when you got home tonight. Uh, when we got home to Monaco? Yeah, once you got home in, in the apartment, talk about that. Like, what, what was the, what were you guys arguing about? No, but, I mean, we, we were just talking, and she, she was telling me that thing, the, one day I went to put bottle, and, you know, I was feeling a little low, man, because, uh, you know, and maybe I think that I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not make her, like, not you know, exactly, which is not true because I know I make a sacrifice, but you know, I know she was wrong. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, when somebody's wrong, says the truth, and we start arguing. But I told her, Hey, baby, come on, this uh, you know, let's, let's not stop this night tonight, yeah. we're gonna be okay. Then we'll listen to music, man. We're just drinking and drinking chocks, we were drinking two little cups like this, chocks and chocks and chocks. To be honest with you, I don't I don't remember when the the glass broke or something like that, man. I really don't remember. So I know it's broke the, because I know I see glass in the floor. I understand. From, from so the argument was she was you were kind of upset. She was talking about your manhood. She you thought that maybe no 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 really. Was, I, you know I was I wasn't upset at all. I mean I just feel a little like down but not upset because you know i know she was wrong and tipsy or whatever and i was in the same yeah and you know me and her uh, you know before when we would drink i'm always you know not the violence with her but uh, you know i have to uh, my violence i have to hit it with something else the wall the car or something okay you know i'm that i'm that kind of person you know not, not just with her just and i'm not drunk Sober, even when I'm sober, 
the same person. Never hit her. Never touch her. I know you talked before. about the broken glass. Is there other things that you hit or broke tonight? You know, in my mind comes uh, the computer, comes the laptop. I I believe is I see the laptop somewhere on the floor, like, like you know the laptop is uh, you know the the the, the keyboard is uh, plug and unplugging. You know, okay. I see it in the floor somewhere. I don't know if I throw it or just go to the floor. What about doors or anything like that? There's some damage to the doors. I don't remember man. walls. Was there any damage in that house prior to tonight? No, in the house there was no no damage at all. The house was completely uh, restored. Like everything was clean and in order. No holes in the walls, no broken no doors. No holes in the wall. If you see holes in the wall, then I did that. Okay. Then I did that. All right. What about doors? Rip doors off the wall. Like uh, closet doors. I don't know, man. I've so any damage that w occurred any damage inside in that the apartment house, tonight? I did it. You did it tonight? I did it. Okay. I know it wasn't her. But was it, well, I think what he's asking you is, was it last night? Or was there damage prior no, no, to no, last no, night? No, 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 but not before. No, no, no. Last night is when it happened everything. Everything okay. happened last no, night. No, nothing house, prior to nothing, last night. Nothing, 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 nothing. The house was perfect, 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 clear. I paid the responsibility for every hole, so everything broke in there. I did it. I know I did it. She she never do that. Okay. I know and, I did and, it. And why did you do it? The, you know, that's the problem. I don't know why, man. We were drinking. And I don't know why. That's that's the problem. I'm, I'm trying to make up in my mind why did I did that. Mm -hmm. When I do that, it's because I'm pissed. You okay. know? But I don't know what makes me pissed. Well, maybe she was talking about her, her ex uh, husband or something. Something like that because okay. we, we that makes I sense. Know, no, I remember today that she, she was mentioning him about something like what? Uh, I don't know. Uh, she was mentioning the after what seems like never ending back and forth, there's a breakthrough in the interrogation. Fidel finally admits, at least partially, to what had caused him to become so enraged. He claims that Maria had started mentioning her ex-husband's name, and as the investigators would say, they understand, although not excuse it, if that would have made him extremely upset. Detectives take a small break to reconvene and re-strategize with this new information. Uh, so somebody from her family don't like him or something. Don't mention him like a, like a good thing, you know, just something like a bad thing, but still mention him. But I don't think that's a reason why I get mad. I get mad for something else. I don't remember whatever I break or whatever I do. You, do you yeah. get Do you get upset when she brings up her husband or brings up past relationships? Uh, not really, man. You know, like she never does that. She knows that. She never does that. I mean, she never talk about her. It's, she knows he's a mother. Well, I mean, between you and I, yeah. Yeah, she knows that he's not a good guy, so. She never, she never put him in conversation, things like that. No. So I never get mad because of that. Today she mentioned him, but because of somebody of her family don't like him. That's all. So I don't get, you know, mad because of that. I don't know why I break the door. I really, really, really want to make up in my mind and try to remember. But I'm thinking, I don't think, you know, right now in my mind, the only thing I know is my girl's dead. Is it, how do you, how do you, when you say she's dead, at, at one point in time, you said she was breathing um, when you found her in the bathroom. When do you think she passed away? Uh, really, uh, when she told me to get out of the bathroom, she wanted to throw up, I think she was fine. I think she just wanted to throw up and they okay. But when I, when I went to the bathroom, she was like, not breathing, like, <clears throat> some, like, like, like a heart attack or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I really, I'm not a doctor. Yeah. And then it's when I call the police. I mean, like, really, really makes me really nervous. I never see her like that. One time, but you know, I just put her in the, the bed, the baby, you know, and she relaxed. Everything good. Okay. But this time was different, very different, because this time she drinks a lot. Yeah. Who put the you? you the, there's a sink on. A what? There's a sink on in the bathroom. The sink, the bathroom sink. The water is running. The water is running. 
The water is running in the sink, yeah. And the sink, mm -hmm. yeah. The water in the sink is what's running. Man, it was me. Okay, do you remember putting it on or why you put it on? No, nah, man, I really, I really don't know. I, I know I opened up the shower and put, tried to put water on her face. That's, I remember I opened the shower. I don't know. Uh, the sink, maybe I do the same thing. I, I really don't know, man. I was really. Did you, did you put, try to put her into the tub? I tried to, but she was like, I, I was wrong and I don't want to hit her. So I just put it like uh, next to the, uh, you know, right in the middle of the door. When you get into the bathroom, just put her there, you know, mm -hmm. and, you know, and try to give her a CPR. I don't, I don't even know how to give a CPR, but she wasn't breathing at all. She was with her eyes like uh, open, but not moving. And I, was, I mean, I was scared, man. And I was waiting for police or raking to go to go over there, man. Yeah. You know, once I see she, and I was screaming, I was in the floor, trying, trying to make her alive again and screaming, baby, will you do this to me, baby, help, help, help. Somebody have to hear me, man. I mean, yeah. I believe the door is already break when that happens. So somebody from outside have to hear me. Uh, the glass was already broke. Yeah, the, glass the glass was already anymore. broke, yeah. When, how long ago what, the glass was broke? When did that, when did that happen? <sighs> if I tell you, man, I, I like to you right now because I really don't know when I break the door. I don't know with what because I don't got cuts in my head. Okay. And you know? It, some you know normally when you break a glass you cut at least a little bit in your your hands yeah and I don't know if I did it with something or use something I know I don't use her <laughs> that's for sure you don't wet her I, I don't use her to break the glass man wow. I never hit I never hit no woman none in my life man I don't do you never. remember do you, did you uh, during your argument or into when you were upset tonight do you remember punching her no nah, man with her or anything nah. like that. No, man. Okay. Have you ever punched her, hit her, or struck her no. in the past? No. Nothing physical? Nothing. Nothing. We just agreed. That's it. Okay. That's it. What about, has she ever been physical towards you? No. Has she struck you, Never. punched you? Never. Anything Never. tonight? She's not like that. She's not like Nothing that. Nothing tonight? Well, not tonight. One day, she just hit me in my face three times because I told her. Uh, she said, I'm going to slap your face. I'm going to do it. And she was wrong, also. She did it three times, hard as fuck. But when, when, when was that? Oh, we were living on uh, Hollywood Bridge. Okay. Uh, Russell Bridge. What, what did you do when she slapped you? Nothing. <laughs> it just stayed, okay, tomorrow I'm going to remind you of this. Were you drunk too at that time? No. <laughs> I was sober also. I was sober. I was, you know, she drank at the same um, as a, at the same level I drank. So, but, you know, I can handle it because I'm, you know, I'm, I got a big body, man. And she's small. She get drunk faster than me. Right. <laughs> Way faster. You know, but never, never she never touched me, never touched her. Yeah. And you know, I don't you know, I'm a man, man. I don't I don't hit no woman. It's, okay. But that's you, you but you do get upset. I get upset. But it doesn't mean that I can you know, I'm or whether I hit hit my girl or any girl. I mean I'm not I'm not like that. I mean, my family raised me really good about that. Okay. You know, so any of the damage that, that occurred inside the apartment, you said that it was, you had done it, not her. And you said that what? any of the damage, the broken glass, uh -huh. the broken door. Is this a door broken too? Well, there's uh, a, a plot holes in the wall. Holes in, yeah. holes? Oh okay, yeah, I did it with my hand. Okay. I did it. My question is this. You said it was last night, because before last night there was no problems, no broken glass, no, no holes. No, no, no. Was it before? Or after you guys started being being uh, for me, it was right right. I don't know, what you say before we have before we have is when everything happened with the door break, breaks. When one thing is break, everything else is gonna be break. I know they're mad because of something. Right. Then we say, "Hey, I'm sorry, Rana," and we start make up or so whatever we did. You know, so, so okay. you, you everything the, the is argument broke before we before we have okay. no after not after not after okay so you you guys are drinking you have an argument and everything you 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 get mad and start breaking everything I mean, yeah I okay. believe that's what happened but I don't remember what I get mad you remember for, that, um, what you remember making up like 
Yeah, we just we, we you know we talk and we 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 have. I mean, if, if it's not, we we don't have. Okay. Trust me, man. So my my thing is is if you remember kind of making up and having sex, what was the argument about? What what got you so enraged? That's that you what I the house? don't remember, man. You know, I know we had the sex. I know we, I did the, those dirty things, and I know this because I never did this before. And it's a shit, that shit is in my mind right now. Were you talking about? Before the argument, oh, what? you said that she was asking you to do certain things. Was that before the argument or after? The yeah, argument? yeah, no, that was that was way before. Uh, that, we were just drinking, and she was like, "I'm in the moon." She was, you know, telling me not not telling me to do it today, which is for telling me hey, one day I want you to do this. Uh, you know, uh, okay, uh, you know, I didn't didn't pay attention to that. I know I get mad because of something. It wasn't because of that. It was something else. It was something else. I know I break everything. I know I, I did it. If you see, you see holes in the on the wall and shit. Like, I did that. She she did it. I did that. I break the door. If everything is broken inside. I did it. Okay, I understand that. What what I need to know is why you did it. What was, was told to you or what problem, what man. what you were upset about? I don't remember why you broke man. it. I really don't remember. I, was wrong. I need to know what she told you. I need to I need to know what you guys. You were upset about what the argument was about. I mean, you, then you ended up making up, but yeah, we mean, ended it, up making up. But what have you? What do you normally argue if, about? If if I tell you, man, I lied to you because I really don't don't remember. I really don't. Actually, I mean, you're, I, you're saying that she brought up you her know what? ex. You and know what? You got upset at that. A what? You saying that she's she brought up her ex, her ex she boyfriend or ex husband? Hey, yeah, no, no, no. But I don't get upset. But no, Nothing she, about no, that. She, no, that was in the beginning when we started drinking. That, that she's mentioning that some of the, her family, I think it was the, her aunts or something, don't like him. But, you know, it was she wasn't talking about him. It's actually, you know, she was talking about her aunt. Okay, All right. but I don't get mad because of that. And I know that I break those, I put those holes in the wall, and it's because you told me. Because I, I really don't remember that I, that I did that. Okay. You know. Okay. So. And I know I did it because you say it's holes in, in the wall. I did it. When when she she talked about putting certain things in her vagina, she started talking about that, and you guys were discussing that. Was this before having sex or during? No. Oh, she was telling me. She was telling me that when we were drinking, and then we had the argument. Not because of that, maybe it would be because of something else. If it would be because of that, I wouldn't do it. Trust me, I wouldn't do it. It's something else, and then in the end, we make them up, and I make my mind because I know I did something wrong. I've uh, pushed a wall, I've uh, break the door, whatever, and you know I did whatever she want me to do with her. That's what I, you know. That's the way I, I feel like to do it mm -hmm. because I know I did something wrong. I know I break the door. I know. Yeah? You know, and we both drunk, and I, you know, I, I do whatever she want me to do. I put the, put the bottle. It was a small bottle. I believe it was like beer bottle or something that she was drinking too. You're drinking the tequila and the beer. Okay. What kind of beer were you drinking? Uh, cause, cause like a uh, really like something like that, man. Something I don't I really don't. So I remember, I know I have a blue moon inside the fridge, but I don't know if it's that one, the one she was drinking, or a uh, middle light. So. Something like that. Okay. So the bottle, the beer bottle, you put the beer bottle inside of her? Yeah, I did. Okay. Yes, I did. That was first that I put my arm. Before or after? If, uh, that, that was before I put my arm. Okay. Then when I put the beer bottle, then she told me I put you on. Did anything else between the beer bottle and your arm? I know that I remember right now. I mean. How did you put the beer bottle in? Put it in. I mean, but how? Just did you, uh, the part that you drink out of, you put that in or you put the bottom in? I mean, what did you put in? I really, I really don't remember, man. I mean, like, I just put the bottle. I know you I remember, used the bottle. Do you remember taking the beer bottle out? Yeah, man. Of course. Okay. Right. <laughs> I ain't gonna leave it there, man. I took him out. I took him out. Did you put the whole beer bottle in? Yeah. I, the I whole did. bottle? She was asking for it, man. You know, I did it. Okay. I did it. All right. And then, then, beer bottle, then what's next? The, I think I used my... Between the beer, beer bottle, I didn't came at all because it really uh, there was blood. Once I, you know, with the beer bottle, it was blood, man. I mean, I hate blood. So the the beer bottle caused her to bleed. I think so. Did the beer bottle break? No, no. 
No, no, that I know. It didn't break at all. No, that I know. There was, I mean, do you remember? Was there any sharp? Was there any, you know, if it, if a piece of it broke, it's a glass bottle. Yeah, it's a glass bottle. I'm, I'm asking, is it? Yeah, you're asking. Me. But it, so if it wasn't cracked, shouldn't be sharp, right? Shouldn't be what? Shouldn't be sharp, like it will cut you. If it's not broken, it shouldn't I know, be sharp. It shouldn't be cold. Right. But remember, man, we're talking about a bottle that didn't speak. Right. So as soon as you took the bottle out, she started bleeding. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. That was blood. I know it was blood. And where was this at when this was happening? That was, that was in the closet. Trying, trying to move to the to the bathroom. Man. I really, you know, it was crazy, man. Everything was crazy. Everything was like just together. The, the, the break, the door, everything was. Was she was, was she standing was up? Like one woman, man. Right. And I was, was she, drunk too, man. Was she standing up? Was she up and like walking? No, she was like a uh, four four point position. She like was, on her hands and knees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if you were gonna have to their doggy style from behind. Exactly, exactly. I don't know if we did it from behind. I really don't remember. I think so too. So, okay. how did she get from the closet to the bathroom? Walking. Oh, so she did walk. Yeah, she did walk, and she was she was wrong, but she was okay. But she was bleeding from the clo. She started bleeding in the closet. I don't know if she started bleeding in the closet. I know I see blood. I see blood. I didn't realize, but when I see my hand, it was blood. Okay. And then in the bathroom, I know there's blood coming from her. Okay. You know, and I thought, and she said, it doesn't matter, it don't hurt, huh? Okay, baby, what, what do you want me to do? Put your arm in me. Okay, baby, sure. Uh, yeah. But she was like, you know, was when, I, when I stopped putting the arm and then like, like five minutes after that, she told me, I don't get out of the bathroom, I need to throw up. Okay. So when you were in the bathroom, in, in the closet, cor correct me if I'm wrong, mm -hmm. is when you put the beer bottle in her. Yeah, in the closet, I think so. Yeah, in the okay. closet. Okay, and she was on, in what position? And she was in like a, like a star position. And you were behind her? Yeah, I was behind her. Okay, and, you, and you put the beer bottle inside I her. put the beer bottle inside. Now, was it a situation where you just, just put it in or were you moving in and out? I'm moving in and out. Moving in and out. Moving in and out. Okay, you know? and that's when she started bleeding. Yeah, I think so. I, mean, I see blood in my hand. When we went to the bathroom, I didn't realize it was blood, you know. And she walked to the bathroom, and I went there, I see my hand, and said, blood. Okay, but... And I know that's a the beer bottle. I know it has to be. Okay. Is, did, you, did you put your, your arm or your fist inside of her in the, in the closet as well? No, I didn't. That, that, that I did in the bathroom. Okay, when you got, when, when you got into the bathroom... What position was she in when you were? Same position as the by the beer bottle. She Same. was on the floor. On the floor. On 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 all fours. Yeah, she was like at top position. And you were behind her. I behind her. Same position. And she said, and she asked you to put your. She asked me to do it, and I said, "Baby, are you sure? Am I gonna hurt?" She said, "No, I don't care." You know, and I said, "You got blood." I said, oh, "Okay, it's not hurting." Okay. She, okay. But, she wasn't menstruating. She didn't, was she, did. She have a period. No, she don't. Man, she had period like two weeks ago. So it's not possible. And not pregnant at all. Too. I mean, like. I how, do you, how do you know she's not pregnant? Oh, I don't know that. Did uh, she was? No, I don't know. I'm asking oh, you. I don't. I don't, I, don't, I don't think she was. You said that because I'm always I never some inside of her. You know, I'm always you know okay. use protection and you know. No, I'm, I'm no make the same mistake twice. You know? Okay. I already did twice, and no more, man. Yeah. We were ready to do one, but way you know in the future. So you don't you don't think she was pregnant? I don't think so. I never okay. her. Never. never, never, never. Now the there's blood. There's a lot of damage that's in the house. There's a lot of things. Is there anything else besides the beer bottle? In the closet that you put inside of her. There's a lot of there's a lot of there's a lot of items on the floor. A lot of items like what? You tell me and I tell you if I did it or not. Um, because man, I, I really don't remember, man. I remember the flashlight. Beer bottle. There's like a, a flashlight. Light. There's some kind of like a flashlight. There's, um, there's a, a flat iron. A, like girl, a, a long, thin flat iron. Girl that you women use for their hair. Oh, it's yeah, flat, yeah, it does like a, a curler. Maybe. Maybe. Did she ask me for the beer bottle, everything similar to that thing? Maybe. I'm, you know, no, the, I remember for sure my arm and the beer bottle. Okay. Besides that, 
If he's fine, then marry. What, about, marry. A, what about a coat hanger? A what? Like a coat hanger or a, you know, that you hang clothes with? Uh, I don't think so. Anything that would have like a hook or a sharp that something caused her to bleed. Something cut her. Something cut her. I mean that she was bleeding. I have to be some of those stuff. Maybe my arm too, man, but she had blood before I used my before arm. Before you used your arm. Yeah, so the, the bleeding and the, the, the injury occurred it, most likely in the closet because that's where you first started putting things yeah, inside. Yeah, I, I don't remember if there's blood in the closet. I really don't remember that, you know, having anything, man. It's, I just I just get her a CPR because I was nervous. I was, you know, she cannot breathe. I called 911 right away. Cause I really get scared, man. Yeah. I I don't I don't look around. I don't remember anything. I know I used the bottle. Well, you, I, I know arm. you keep saying you don't remember, but you do remember. Yeah, you do kind remember. of kind of stuff, kind of stuff, a little by little. But for and real, it's important that you remember as much as you can, and you I tell know. us, and you're I honest know. and truthful about what happened. I'm always true. I'm always okay. true. I'm telling you everything. Everything I accept, everything I did, I accept it. And I and I and I, and I understand it. that you're you're a man and you're 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 accepting it. But we need to know details. We need to know exactly what happened to her, why it happened, what you were upset about. Those things are that you're you're remembering everything, but there's certain things that you're not remembering, and I think it's because it's hurting you inside. No, man, it's, no, it's, not really. It's, it's like you. If I already tell you about the arm, uh, I can tell you everything else. I understand. That's. I understand you put your arm, but there's a reason why you were upset. I, I, that, I that, don't know, man. Listen, I was wrong. I know when I... The, well, you kind of touched on it. You said that, you know, you, you she wanted you to do certain things. And yeah, that yeah. was like, hey, wait, am I not... It makes me feel it, down, but am I not, not upset. Oh, okay. Not upset. Not to, not to break the door and things like that. I have to be something else. Something that I don't remember. Something that I don't remember. I cannot tell you, man. If I tell you right now, I'll be lying to you because I really don't know what to say about it. I don't want to be telling you, ah, she told me this, but it's not true. I don't remember. I really don't remember. I take the fall for everything is broke. I know I did it. I know I did. But I don't know why. So you're saying everything in that house you did, everything that occurred in that house was caused by you? Yeah, the every in breaking things and everything. The injuries that she has inside of her? Uh, injuries that she has. Maybe I did it, you know. I put the stuff on her. She did it by herself, but she was asking me to do it. You know, you know. Before I mean, I did nothing. Like I, I didn't force her to do anything. I understand. I'm just trying try, to make force sure her that to we do have anything. The... I never forced her to do anything that she don't want. Before last night, you said this is last night was the first time she asked you to do these things mm -hmm. with the bottle. Yeah, and your, first and, time and, man. and your fist. First time. Before last night, what is the Kinkiest or craziest things actually you two have ever done before last night? 69. 69. Okay. That's it. Nothing else than that. Not even movies. So you went from pretty, van pretty vanilla, pretty tame. Like, like not doing too much. Not doing too much. Not the normal crazy. Sex. Just normal no, sex. No, normal sex. Right. Normal, normal you said sex. not even movies to watch. No movies. Okay, yeah, so yeah. normal sex. Normal sex. To. Way over here, where now she wants a beer bottle a beer and bottle, your fist inside of her. And all that sh I don't know why she was telling me that picture because she was wrong or I don't know why. Well, I mean, had you ever had sex with her prior to her? I mean, last night. Was last night the first time you two had sex while she was drunk? No, man, no. We had done it before, okay, so. but, but last night she was drunk, drunk, drunk. You know? Okay. And, you know, it was, we both were drunk, very drunk. But you've had sex with her prior to last night when you both have been drunk, right? We had before drunk. Right. But no, like but drunk. She, but she's, never, you, but you she's never asked you to do anything like this. Uh, no, she's just uh, put her on my, you know, my, my, my mouth. Some, you know, normal thing. Listen, normal sex. We're all men here. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You beat her out. She's exactly. blowing you. Okay. Exactly. 69. You've exactly. had intercourse. Probably in different positions, doggy exactly, style, missionary. Exactly, 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 exactly. You know, she's probably sat on but top of you. Last night is the first time that she asked me for shit like that. I don't know. I, she don't do it no drugs. When you guys are having sex, are the lights on? Is it? Is it? Is there lights uh, on? Uh, to, tonight it was. That's like, what I mean. It may be. Maybe some. Uh, one day is on. One day is off. What about tonight? 
Like so they, they, were, they were they were on man. The bedroom they lights were, were on. on. They were on. The bathroom lights on. Bathroom lights were were on, and the closet I don't remember because I I don't remember see the blood. I see it in my hands when we went to the bathroom, mm -hmm. but they, they, and now I see it in the closet. So you know, and uh, I know it's she be with, a lot of blood. at any time did she say that it hurt or she was in pain or anything like that? Yeah, I just I was asking her, baby, it doesn't hurt you? And she was saying no. Keep doing it. It's just like, you know, yeah, in the, the language, in the drunk language. It had to hurt a little bit. I know, man. I know. I, I know. completely understand that. But you, you just want me to keep doing it. I, do, I keep doing it. I keep doing it. I keep doing it. It hurts. You know what? Mm -hmm. I don't have a... Mm -hmm. after, even after you saw she had been bleeding. I tell her, baby, you're bleeding. Right. She said, it doesn't hurt. That's what you told me. I don't know if it's because she was drunk. I was drunk too, man. Listen, I love, so, uh, you know, I love to see her pussy. Whatever, you know. Right. But the, the the first thing that you can remember is putting a bottle inside of her. That's yeah, the first thing. that's that's one of the, that's the first thing, man. That's the first thing. That's and that comes to a conversation too. It doesn't make me pissed or nothing. Something. Oh, she. Made, that's what you guys talked about initially. That no, no, not initially. We we talk about everything. We talk about our family, my family, everything. I mean, our future, whatever. And, you know, you know, conversation. And then she mentioned it. She mentioned about the bottle and things like that. That's 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 where I'm a little confused. You guys are drinking, talking about family. You know, doing no, all the time. You know. But the and you've never done anything like this before. You've never. She's never asked you to do anything like this. You weren't like in the mood listen, at that. You went from point A to put a bottle love, inside of me. Listen, we're in love with Sheba. Yeah. We we always we always try to do everything to make the other one happy. Absolutely. You're you a know? good man. And then, you know, in one part of the conversation, no, of course, I'm not. She ain't gonna be talking about her father. And from there, she tell me, I want you to put a bottle on my, on my. You know, she she mentioned it, but we're talking about something like. So like something good, like something that we wanted to do together, and she mentioned that. Did she say this is something that, she, like a fetish that she had, or did like she, a what? A like fantasy? Some, yeah, yeah, she fantasy. should be a fantasy. Man. Are you talking be, about your fantasies tonight? Yeah, uh, no, me, man. I mean, like, um, you know, my my fantasy is just be with her, man, and yeah. I cannot do that shit no more. Did she want to do anything to you? Actually, that was kind of crazy. That maybe made made you angry. Uh, Maybe she would want to do something, but no, I don't think so, man. She, 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 she knows I'm a man, man. I mean, not, nothing that she can do that makes me mad, man. Whatever she want to do, do it. I'm, I'm okay with that. To you? Except, yeah, except my ass. Everything is okay, and she don't, she don't do that kind of stuff. So. But you did get mad. I did get mad because of something, man, but I don't know what. Well, we need to figure that out. Well, we need to figure it out. I mean, so what would make you mad? I do. What kind of what kind of things would enrage you? You guys have any problems in your relationship? No, man, not at all. We're, no. we're good. What about another guy? No, man. What if you found out that she was with another man? Huh? No, no, no man. No. No, it's just nothing. Just doodling. Huh? Doodling. What? Doodling. Drawing. Drawing. What is that? Car? Hot rod? You see? Okay. Um, what is that? I'm just curious. It looks like a... Caterpillar engine. But Caterpillar engine? Yeah. Okay. We got, we got a little bit of a problem. Okay. Yes. All right. I just got off the phone with our uh, crime scene, and the medical examiner is there. Okay? The doctor. And she, there's the injury to her is severe. Severe injuries. Severe injuries. Severe injuries. Severe injuries. Body. Yes. Um, multiple injuries inside there. Tissue ripped out. What is that? Tissue inside. All the insides out on the floor. What else? That's the cause of the bed? Yeah. We think. 
You know the amount of blood that's in there? It, her insides were ripped out. What happened there? What happened? Mm, Fidel, this is not a case of just rough sex. Yeah. Okay? This is not a case of rough sex. Um, There's blood everywhere. No, 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 everywhere. Listen, listen, just tell us. I, no, I'm just yes. doing whatever she was telling me to do. She man. wasn't telling you to do that. Oh, that's, yeah. Listen, Fidel. The amount of pain that she would have been in would have been unbearable. Okay? The amount the doctor just looked inside of her, and the amount of pain that she would have had, she wouldn't have been able to withstand that. I don't, I don't kill her, man. I don't. We didn't say you, we we're not saying you intended to. No one's saying you intended to do it. No one's saying you you yeah. wanted to. I, I, I hear, I, I hear I your remorse. Listen, I, I heard the remorse in your in your voice when when you're you're trying to get help, and I understand that you care for her, and this is someone that you love. I don't care. But however, there's injuries inside of her that need to be explained. She, she was telling me whatever the, the, what I was doing. She was telling me, do this, do it, man. She was telling me. I she understand, was but that's, me. that, listen, you as a human being, you as someone that loves this girl, would not be doing that to her, even if she was asking you. We both were it's, drunk, man. I, I, I don't care. I don't care. That doesn't make a difference in this situation. Okay? There's serious injury to her. There's things that were done in, in there. And I think you have a little bit of a conscious, and you were worried. You were you were worried because you, you even cleaned the blood off yourself. Okay. And hey, listen, look, you're not you. You love this girl. I okay? love her, man. Of this course. Is some, and so I know what happened in there is not something that you expected to happen. Okay. It just things got things went wrong. Things went bad. But it's important for you to be honest about it and tell us I'm the honest, truth. Man, because I, I know I know you're saying that you put your arm inside of her. I know you're saying that you put bottles inside of her and everything else. But there's more to it. There's more to this story. There's more to the story. And if you really love and care for this girl and you have a heart, you'll tell us what happened so that we can have some closure for her. That's, that's because cool. listen, listen, there's more to the story than what you're telling us. And there's more that you remember. Okay, I know you're saying you don't, but you remember ex specific details here and here, but the, the part in the middle, you're blocking out because it hurts you. The fact that that happened, it hurts you that that, that occurred. It's got to be bothering you. I, I Listen, what, what they, I just saw pictures, and I'm going to show you some pictures in a little bit, okay, and show you what I just saw. It's devastating. And to do the right thing for her, and the right thing for yourself, and the right thing for her family. I do the right thing. Whatever I have to be done, I'll do it. The right thing is to tell us what happened. I told you Tell everything. us the truth of what happened. I'll tell you the truth. I'll tell you everything, what happened. Everything that I remember, that's what I told you. I know, but there's more that you remember. No, I don't remember. You're anything. blocking it out, but there's more that you remember. It's not that there's I'm blocking it out. Because do you, let me ask you a question. Do you, do you want to be looked at as an animal? A what? Do you want to be looked at as a monster? Of course As not. someone who's careless? Of course not. Exactly. Because I don't think you're that person. I'm not that person. Okay. I, mean, I have two kids so, and I have my job. But, uh, okay, so listen. That's what we're saying. I don't think you're a monster either. I don't think you intended for any of this to happen. Of course not. Okay. But, but, at, some point but you at, got, some point, at some point you got upset and you became enraged. That there's there's a point in that time when you when that happened something something snapped something upset you. No, nothing, man. Nothing. Because we just the damage playing. that you caused in that house, that house was not in that condition prior to all this going on. All of a sudden, now there's holes and everything is destroyed. She's got internal injuries that need to, that you're saying is just caused from a bottle, and that's not the truth. Those injuries. That's she... not the truth. There's more that was up inside of her. There's more that was done, and. There's no way she could have dealt with that pain without either being unconscious or telling you she to was, stop. She was, she, was, she was talking to me. She was like... Fidel reasserts that Maria was conscious while he was inserting the objects that he had been instructed to insert. But something doesn't add up. Statements from the neighbors said that they heard a man screaming loudly that night multiple times, but they never once heard any female voices, calls for help, screams, or otherwise.
The medical examiner would make certain that detectives were aware that Maria's death would have been excruciatingly painful, unbearable even. It is completely illogical to assume or believe that Maria was conscious during this time. Any being, human or otherwise, having their viscera literally torn out of them while conscious would let out primal, blood-curdling sounds of pain and anguish. Sure, Maria may have been drunk, but she wasn't anesthetized. If Maria was awake, she would have felt every rip and tear, and the neighbors would have heard her scream the entire time. Well, maybe, maybe in your head you're thinking that, but, yeah. well, I know she might have been talking at the beginning, but there, there's some point in time when she's not <clears> conscious <throat> because what is what was taken out of her is impossible. For when her. she was not conscious, when I came into the, the, to the bathroom, she was not breathing. She was like, like this. That's the point that she was unconscious. But when we're doing the stuff, she was talking to me. She was telling me, do it, do it, do it. Yeah. Keep doing this, this is not rough sex, man. I told you that. This is not. This is. This is a lot more than rough sex. I know, I know. Okay, so if you know, explain I to understand. us. Tell us. I understand. Tell us. I did everything she told me to do. When I do, I don't know. I what else did you put before. inside of her besides a beer bottle in your fist? What else? This and the bottle. What else? And, and that thing that you said for the hair could be possible too. The flat the, iron. The, the thing for the hair. What else? The, nothing else that I remember. What did, in the closet, at some point, stuff that's inside of her came out? And stuff of yeah, her, her stomach, was part of her body. Part of her body, tissue, is out inside the closet, on the ground. How's gonna, how can that be possible, man? You tell me. It's only possible, it's only possible by what was going on in there. I find it hard to believe that she got up and walked to the bathroom after she what happened to, to her inside the closet. She walked to the bathroom. I mean, I'm surprised she didn't bleed out in the closet. She bleed? I'd rather no, tell like you. bleed out, like not be able to breathe and pass away in the closet from the amount of blood that she lost. No, she was in the bathroom. She, she, she was. She told me she wanted to throw up, and when I did come you, back, did you drag her to the bathroom? <clears throat> no, she was. She was normal. She was like. What do you mean normal? Like, like she could walk. have been normal because her insides are on the floor. She was fed out. walking. Okay. She was walking to the bathroom. When you put your hand inside of your fist, were you, I'm not trying to be funny when I do this, I'm asking, did you, were you doing this? Yeah. Okay. When you pulled your hand out, did you have anything in your hand? I don't know, blood, I guess. Anything else? Do you feel anything in your hand? No, that I remember, like, you know. Squishy, just, anything? Just, just blood, I mean, full of blood. I mean, no, oh, come on, man. I'm asking. No one's saying you intended yeah, for this no, to happen. Of course not. Exactly. That's why we're out. We're trying, to, we're trying to figure this out. We have to explain to the doctor, and we have to explain to other people that are looking at this what happened. Okay? We have to explain how she got into this condition. Part of her insides, from her inside of her body, are on the floor in the closet. We're not saying you're a killer. Okay? No, I'm not. Because you're not a murderer. You're not a killer. This is not you. Okay? No, but you have to be honest with what happened in there so that we can put the pieces together. Everything I've been telling you is everything I know. You but know, there's some things that you're leaving out. There's I'm some not things leaving anything that, There's out. some things that you're leaving out because you're afraid. You're afraid that it's going to make you, you, you think that it's going to make you look bad. It's going to make other people look at you bad. But you know what's going to happen? If you're not honest and tell us what actually occurred in that house, and we're trying to put all this together... That shows that maybe, you know what, maybe he is a bad person. Maybe he what, is a cold-hearted killer. Maybe he doesn't love her. And I don't think that's you. No, that's not me. Man. It's not you. I know you, you, you have care and concern for this girl. All right? Do you love this girl? Of course, babe. Okay. Would you do anything to hurt her? Of course not. Okay. But you did. Right? And I'm not leaving anything out of these. But, but you, did, you understand you. that you hurt her. Right now, I understand everything you're doing. You're but you knew, right now. but but you know you did because you saw the blood. Yeah, blood is not blood. normal. Blood from sex is not normal. That amount of blood is not normal. Okay. Did it, the injuries that were caused to her, she didn't do them to herself. Of course not. And there was no one else in the apartment. It was me. It was you. I know. Okay. I know that. So, explain to us how. Part of her insides, part of her inside of her body. Listen, why, why did you why did you wash your hands? 
Why did you wash? Because I went outside to smoke a cigarette. Why? Yeah, but you cleaned up more than just there, the amount of blood that's in that apartment, all over the walls and on the floor. You had a lot more blood than just size in your arm. You had a lot more blood than just on that right arm. No, you you didn't taste me, man. I don't even have soap in my hand. You just put water and wash the hand. Where, where else was blood on your body? Uh, I don't know, just <clears> my <throat> hand. Maybe this one. But both, both this, hands? this one is the one I no. This one is the one I use. Your right arm. Yeah, this okay. one. But did you have blood on that on that arm? Yeah, too? if I touched myself for you. What about your legs? The legs on the floor. Well, you had that blood in your legs because there's blood all over the floor. It's in the blood on the floor. That's I what I have. That's what I have blood on my. Yeah, but legs. you don't have really a lot of blood on your legs. Did you go into the shower and wash off? No. Because you said you put the shower on. To put water on her face. Because she wasn't breathing. It's when I called the police, the 911. What about a towel? Did you use a towel? I know. I don't use no to towel. To dry off? To mm -hmm. wipe anything down? I don't think so. I don't know. No, it's important that you... you I, I don't think so. I don't remember. I don't use nothing. Man. I don't use no, no towels or something like that. <sighs> after, you, after you called 911 the first time and the phone went down, you say you dropped the phone, or you disconnected because they couldn't get the, they the couldn't get the address, correct? Yeah. Well, what did you do phone. from that point to when the police got there? Try to wake him up. Try to give her CPR or something. She wasn't breathing. She wasn't breathing. Okay. Not breathing at all. Did she ever ask for help? No. Her? No. She was a. <gasps> did she ever ask, tell you to stop, or that she was in pain never, or hurting? Never. She was talking. You know, like. Keep going, keep going. That's it. But she never told me stop. I don't know. I I don't even know how fucking shit from her body come out of there. Really don't know. I mean, like, well, listen. You see that, right? Yeah. All the way here. If you put your whole arm inside her, you were up inside her stomach. Correct. What the? What? Are you, no, I mean, I'm just saying. You're think. Realistic. Yeah, you're you're yeah, putting your whole arm inside her. You're, where is your hand at that point? It's not in her vagina anymore. Right? I understand. It's up inside her stomach. Well, why is she didn't tell me to stop or something? We don't know. <clears throat> and the stuff, and, and the part of her body from, the, from her insides that's on the floor, it's not, it, it wouldn't just fall out of her. It would have to be pulled out of her. I didn't pull anything. I like it. When she had, where was it that she had trouble breathing? In the bathroom. So she was fine in the closet. Yeah, she was fine. She was, she was, she was okay. Let me get. She was wrong, just like mine, just like me. But but I said in the bathroom is when I when I get nervous and she wasn't breathing. Was she coherent? Huh? Was she like awake during that time? I mean, yeah, she you was. You're saying drunk, but was she? Did she know what was going on? Of course. She was the one that told me put the bottle on me. I understand. She that. was the one that told me use your hand. I mean, of course, I, I wouldn't do it if she wouldn't tell me that. Yeah, I know. I, I she never... said to put your hand, but you put your arm. Listen, listen. You know, when you put your arm in someone and go up inside to their and inside their intestines, that's that's damaging. That's damaging. It's not sexual. That's torture. Is it possible that she passed out while you had your arm inside of her? No, she was awake. She was, she was, she was like, like, like having fun. Like, you know, like, like having fun. It's not like a, like a scream of pain or something. Like, just having fun. You know, like, that's how come I, that's how come I say, I don't, oh. Were you, were you upset at her? No, I was, of course not. You were upset at something. You were mad. You were angry. Listen, like I explained to you. I mean, you're feeling no pain because you're punching wall holes and walls and doors and everything else and breaking glass. There's. I don't remember when I don't know of that bad. I know I did it. Yeah. But I don't know why, and I don't remember how how with what I break the door. I know maybe the holes with my hand. But, but like, I, like I explained to you earlier, I have that temperature. She knows 
she will, will live in all the places and she knows how to do the same thing. I understand. You know? I understand. But then at that point, I think maybe the rage when you guys are having sex continued. I think it continued no, because her. you shoved your fist up into her stomach. Inside her her guts. You know why I think she was passed out when you had your fist inside of her? I'll explain to you why. Why? Because what came out of her insides, there's no way she could have been conscious and not been in horrible, horrible, horrible you pain. Explain to me, from her, of course, inside of her body. But why when I pull my arm? And you obviously pulled was, it out. No, I don't, I don't grab anything. I mean, just pull my hand. That's it. And no, you put, your, you put your arm up to here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, like like he just said, look how far that is. I know. Okay. I know, but I don't, I don't grab anything and pull it back. But, but if it comes something out of there, I, I really don't know. I mean, oh, man. Did you guys get in an argument because she thought she was pregnant? No, of course not. Oh, I wish you could be pregnant, man. If well, maybe if it was yours. Maybe it was. Maybe she was pregnant by somebody else. I don't know. If she was pregnant? I don't know. I'm asking you. Is no, there a man, conversation? she's not pregnant. I have no idea. She's not pregnant. She's fell, uh, fell for, uh, how do you say? She, she, she don't shit on me. I mean, like, she, she's, she's a good girl. She's a perfect girl, man. She's my love. You know, and I don't shit I don't her. doubt for one second you love her. But we have to figure out, and we have to make some sense of what happened here because this is not rough sex okay I, I, I'm sorry. I'm her sorry. guts her guts I don't know what else word to use her insides were ripped out of her that doesn't happen by a beer bottle I know okay? because not. the beer bottle is not broken or cut it's not there's no sharp edges to it it didn't break inside of her we I asked you that you said no Okay. I don't think it breaks inside. It was good. The bottle was. Good. And 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 which end of the bottle went inside of her? I, I really, to be honest, I don't remember. I really don't. Were you holding the top, you know, the part you drink? Were you holding that in your hand? No, I remember, man. I, I know I used the bottle. Right. I know I used it, but I don't, don't remember. And how, from the table, how big is a beer bottle? About that big? It was a meter light or close light bottle. With a long neck. Yeah. Okay, so it's about what that tall. Uh, something like that. Okay, so the whole bottle went inside of her? No, no, the whole. I was holding it. Well, you were holding it. Yep, yeah, but I don't but know. It went all the way up to you. Okay. It from, from the back or from the from the top. I really don't know, man. I'm just... <sighs> right now, the most important thing for you to do is remember. Okay. Remember for you, remember for her, remember for her family. I know, man. I know. Okay. So no one thinks you're Listen, an, no one thinks you're an animal. No one thinks you intended to do this. Of course not. Okay. Seriously. Of course not. But you you've got to be able to explain what happened here. Oh man, we both were drunk. I'm, I don't know. I really don't know. I was so drunk, and she was so drunk. I really don't know, man. I wish I can explain better. I wish I can explain better. I'll, I'll tell you everything I remember, man. And, you know, I'm fucking telling you everything, everything I remember, like, you know, almost exactly how it is. Almost is the key. Exactly, it's because almost. I, don't, I don't remember everything. But, but I think you do. I think there's a point that you're trying to block out because it's killing you right now. It's burning you up because of what happened. And you're thinking back right now, thinking, wow, I can't believe I did something like that. But it wasn't you. You weren't in the right state of mind. You you wouldn't intentionally listen, hurt her, right? Listen, there's nothing inside of me that I have not telling you. Everything that I know is everything that you know. Okay? You know, I'm not I'm not hitting nothing. I'm not you know, I you know, I prefer to pay twenty years on job just just for for you know you know, for her family to be okay. And they don't think I'm a monster. After more than three hours in the interrogation room, the detectives narrow in on what aspects affect Fidel the most, which seems to be how people will view him from here on out. They press Fidel to be a good man, and that people won't think he's a monster if he can acknowledge his mistakes and take responsibility for them. 
It goes without saying that regardless of Fidel admitting what he had done, the world at large would label him a monster when the details of Maria's demise were presented to the public. Fidel would eventually fully confront the truth, although he would continue to directly blame the alcohol for losing control of himself. I don't, I don't, I don't think you're a monster. But no one thinks you're you a monster. Know, I don't, I don't, but, but, you have to, but you have to be honest and help us put I'll the pieces honest. together from point A to B. You're giving us here, and then there's a gap, and then you're giving us after. That time in between, from that closet to that bathroom, something happened from the closet to the bathroom that you're leaving out. Okay? You guys drank. You had an argument. Yep. Did the argument happen after, possibly? You're saying it happened before. Did it happen after? Did it happen during? Oh. Uh, when I break the stop, we was right. Why are you right breaking before stuff? Before we make sense. Okay. So you're breaking stuff. You're having an argument. What is the argument about? I don't know. That's, that's, that's what I, I, I don't know. I really, I wish I can remember and it's telling you, you know, I can't, but see, I can't, that I can't would, but tell you, you I can't tell you how anything. That would, you, I, can, I know, but don't you understand how that would make more sense that if you did something during sex that may have injured her, there's a reason, you know, there'd have to be a reason. You're not just going to do it so for no, reason is that we're for, no we're drunk, for no reason. No, you're not going to hurt her for no reason. You're going to hurt her just because she's drunk. Cause no, 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 no. Just because no, you're no, drunk? No, 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 no. You said you've had sex with her when you're drunk before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both of you have been but, drunk before. But no, no, like yesterday. Yesterday we, we were like really, really, really drunk. I understand that, okay? And you, But you also said to us earlier that the, the kinkiest or the craziest thing you've done sexually was a 69. 69. Okay, so that's why we're saying something else happened here. This it isn't this isn't rough sex. I have said okay, that before. I understand that. Do you agree with that? I agree with that. That's you do? Okay, sex. so then explain yeah. to us what it was. You know, what, what was it was it? to me a rough sex when I was drunk. And for her the same thing. Because she didn't scream with pain. She wasn't telling me to stop. You know, how can I explain? I mean, I don't leave nothing behind. I can tell you whatever. I can tell you, yeah, we have arguing about her edge. And that's it. But I'm not going to tell you that because that, I really don't know, man. Is, the, the, uh, you said that she never said stop. Was, uh -huh. she, was she unconscious? Did she, she was, pass out? She was talking. She, <laughs> she was, was talking. Initially, but, yeah. but you could be, you know, when you get drunk and you, you have no idea what's going on. and you, you When she pass. was unconscious is when I find, when I went to the bathroom, she could not breathe. In the it's closet. When, Did she pass out in the closet? No. She was, she was, she was like... Normal, like like normal. She, okay. she wasn't normal in the closet. She had her stomach ripped out of her in the closet. I know you. You guys so that's me not that normal. Now, but there's the amount of blood that's in the closet and, and what happened in the closet. There's there's no way that she was either saying no and stop because it hurt like hell, or she was unconscious. That's the only explanation we can have here. She wasn't unconscious. She wasn't, and she wasn't telling me to stop. But that that's the thing. It's one of those two things no, because there's, she's gonna let you rip her stomach out and not say anything. That doesn't make any sense. That that makes absolutely no sense, Fidel. Does it to you? It does. It doesn't okay, make so, sense. So I'm not. I, we're, so we're on the same page here. I understand. Here. You're, we're on the same page. Okay. Because. Fidel, I know it's not easy. I know you're confused. I know a lot of things are going through your mind right now. Of course, man. You, you know? But you have to do the right thing and tell I'm the truth. I'm doing the right thing, man. I'm you need to do the right thing and be honest. Remember. I know everything you're, you're saying that, everything that you remember, and I understand that. But I think there's more that you remember that you're not telling us. There's more that you're leaving out that you're not telling us. I never hurt her. I will never hurt her. Okay. Never do something to hurt her. No, you, you know, uh, and killing her. I'm not saying you killed her. She. I mean, she okay, but listen, listen, I mean, like, listen. That's a reason because she is dead because of whatever well, we did. But did you intend to do that? Of course not. Okay. Of course not. I wasn't okay. conscious, man. Okay. We're, it's like a car accident. You get in a car accident. Someone dies. No, this is not a car accident. Well, I'm just no, saying it's an accident. This this was obvious. Was this, I mean, something, you either intended to kill her or this was an accident. Of course not. Okay. 
So if you guys were having sex and you accidentally did something to her that you didn't intend and she ended up dying from it, well, then that's an accident, right? I know, but... It's, but man, it's you, at no, some point, at some point during this night, you saw the blood. You saw this. You saw that you I made a mistake. I saw the blood. Oh my. You, but you, but at that point, you knew you made a mistake. No, right? I, I made a mistake at this point, and I, I know I made a mistake. But, you, at that but you, point, you knew you made a mistake at that point when you're washing the bloods off. The blood I know off it's arms. a blood. I just, I just washed the blood because I was going to smoke a cigarette. I know I had blood. I know I had it. I know I had the blood. Were you going to smoke a cigarette because you knew that it was over? No, man. I went to smoke the cigarette because she told me she was going to throw up to get out of the bathroom. No. That's what she told me. That's what I get out of the bathroom. And when I go back, I see her without breathing. It's when I call 911. I'm not leaving anything behind, man. I'm telling you everything, everything, everything I remember, everything how it was. If it's something else, I'm sorry. I cannot tell you. I, you know, let's, let's do this. Let's do this. Take a, take a few minute break. Yeah. Maybe it'll help you remember more if you start to write stuff down. Maybe. It'll be possible. You want to try it? Write down what happened. We're going to write this the same thing I'm telling you. Okay. Yeah. Take your time. Write. Maybe something will come to your mind. Okay? Listen. No one, we're not saying you intended to do this. Of course not. Man. Okay, you, so just you know, understand, that. Jail because understand that. Understand that. Understand that. Just write, and maybe it'll help you jog your memory. Okay, and we'll come back in a few minutes. Okay, you want some more water? No, I'll, I'll write it down outside if, you, if it's possible to wear, wear a smoke a cigarette. Sure, absolutely. Come on. You have your cigarettes with uh, you? Yeah. Okay. And I'll, I'll, you know, go to jail because something that I really don't. How many cigarettes did you smoke? Um, one over there, right now? Yeah. Um, okay. All right. Um, so let's, let's discuss what's going on. Okay. Talk to me. I'm not going to think any different of you. No one is. We're only, it's only going to be for your benefit. It's only going to help you. Things get out of hand. We both were drunk. We both were for real to be honest, I don't I really don't remember why I punched the the, 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 the the holes that, you know. Now I know that I did it because you just told me there was holes. I don't I don't even know the open holes and that. Okay. I'm not concerned about the yeah. holes. Whatever it did, like I say, she was she was talking. She, she, she was talking in the, in, the, in the closet and then in the, in the bathroom too. I remember those parts because I do remember those parts. But, but uh, you know, the, we weren't drinking more when we had sex or whatever. We weren't drinking. We just drinking until we had the whatever problem we had. But I don't know what was it. No, um, that's, that's, you know what the problem was. That's that's what you're holding back, and that's what you listen. need to come in clean with. That's what you need to be honest with. Like the touch no, of machine listen, right now on me, man. from whatever you you're saying, from whatever the problem you have, that's where it went bad. That problem, you know, is what you had. You know what happened. You know what was upsetting you. I have nothing against her. Whatever I, I think did you do. with her. I think you do. Maybe I, you know... Things get out of hand. Okay. And that, but it's but when not things because, get out of hand, uh, things are hurt inside or something. Things I mean, get out of hand because something bothered you. There's something oh you keep my. saying that we got to the point I got upset or something bothered you, and then it, things got out of hand. 
what was it? What was it? That's what I'm trying to figure it out, man. I you, really, you don't have to I figure really, out. You know what it was. What was it? What caused you to go? Listen, if I really, if I really it, know that, I'll tell you no, right but now. I think you do. You do. I'm not. You're, you're, listen, I'm you really, know yourself. You know, know who myself. you are. Okay. I know you know what upset you. No. Okay. When I was drunk, you, you, yeah, but you know, you know my, when you're my, drunk, you still know what upsets you and what causes you to go get upset. All right. You've had arguments with her in the past, right? You've had arguments with her in the past. You know what things have sparked and and caused you to get upset. This is no different, man. And you need to just tell us why. That's all you need to do. It'll be a big weight lifted off your shoulders, I'm telling you. It really will. You know, I think part of the reason is you don't want to tell us. Because we're three men sitting here. I think part of you is embarrassed. And I think I have an idea. What may have happened. And I think you do too. I know you do. And you just don't want to tell us. Okay? What do you think? What do I think? I think you wanted to have a nice night with your with your girl. And you guys went out drinking. And you came home. And you stopped and bought some more, some more liquor. Some tequila. You came home and you were drinking. And things started moving. And you drank so much. You couldn't get your dick hard. You couldn't get it. You couldn't get an erection. You're asking me what I think. I'm telling you what I think, okay? And then because you couldn't get your dick hard, okay, an argument, a fight ensued. Because now you don't feel like a man. Now you don't feel like you're worthy. Now you don't feel like you can. You can. No pun intended. Rise to the occasion and do what you got to do is please your girl, okay? And so an argument ensued, okay? And you got angry. I'm okay. not doing nothing against her, man. Okay, you said earlier. You said earlier you told us that you didn't come. Uh, you didn't ejaculate. I did, I did, That's, yeah, I think, because you couldn't get your dick hard. That's, no, I, okay. My dick hurt. Okay, and I think you were embarrassed, I and I think it pissed you off because she said something. Maybe she didn't mean to. Maybe she didn't mean to offend you, but whatever she said offended you. You're a man, okay? No you're Hispanic. You're Cuban. To... You have pride, okay? Don't, don't sit here and question my manhood. Is what you're saying here. Am I, am I right? That's what you think. I'm asking, am I right? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. okay, right. so what happened then? So what happened what with the happened, argument? Man. That's not what happened. No? To be honest, man, I really don't know what happened. Listen, I was so... Fidel, so come on. Don't, listen, you remember here, you remember here, and you remember here. Yeah, I remember but you conveniently don't remember the most important part. You conveniently don't, conveniently don't remember what happened in the closet, what happened in the bathroom, Okay. But what happened in between the two? The she had her guts was... ripped out in the closet. And you're going to sit here and tell us, come on, you don't remember what the argument was about? Fidel. We both said it. I don't think you're a monster. I don't think you intended to do what you did. Okay? But ultimately, you did it. I did it. I know that. And I know you know that. To be a man about it, explain why. What set you off? What got you so angry? You were enraged. Why? Just explain why, and you won't know. You're a human. Okay? You're a human being. You're flesh and blood, just like he and I. And you snapped and things got things went bad. Okay? Just explain that. That's all we're asking you to do is explain why. What happened? What started it? We were like we were like drinking. We we're drinking, we get drunk. I don't even know, not even when I open the holes, when I, when I break the window. I don't, I don't, don't even remember when I did that. I don't, I don't know what was the argument. I know something happened, but I really don't know, man. I mean, like. Fidel, you ripped her insides out of her through her vagina. I didn't mean to do that, man. I understand that, but you did it. What pissed you off to the point where you did that?
Was she fucking somebody else? Oh, Did she tell you she wanted to leave you? I mean, I don't know. I'm asking. I'm asking. I don't know. Did she tell you she was having sex with her ex-husband again? No. about the box believe me or something um, maybe she mentioned something about go to peru uh, but that was she she no yesterday she mentioned like day one day ago like two days ago okay uh, going to peru and live with her mother because she was you know tired of whatever this country i don't know why she was like that you guys weren't getting along huh you guys weren't getting along oh yes we do you want me to go with her, but you know, it's. I, I cannot leave my kids here and my job and go to somewhere else and not yeah. to make any money. Yeah. I mean, that, that might be one of the reasons. But to be honest with you guys, I really don't remember. Did you talk about that last night? I don't know, man. I, we were so. I, mean, I was drunk. Oh. She was drunk. In your house before you, all this started going on, did you start talking about that? When you sat down in your little makeshift boxes, cutting up lines, having... No, the only thing we talk about <laughs> was the, one of her aunts don't like her, her ex-husband. Uh, that's, that's the only thing we, we talk, um, like, you know? How did that conversation come about? You're having a nice night with your girl drink, having drinks, yeah, we, and we you start talking about your, her cousin and her ex-husband? No, yeah, because, we, you know, we were just talking about... Her family or my family and things like that, and you know, you know, we're just talking about the family and whatever is good, whatever is not good, whatever is piece of shit, whatever is not, you know, things like that. If I if I really remember what's going on, why why what was the outbreak? I'll tell you, when, man. I'll when, really tell you. Anyway. Listen, what when you discovered that she wasn't breathing? you were going to call 911. Um, what was going through your mind at that time? What well, was going through my mind? That she was dying. Okay. And what do you think was going to happen? Or what? If she died, what do you think was going to happen? If she died? Mm-hmm. What was... What well, I'm going to think, I'm there. I'm... I'm, I'm I'm here. I'm, you know, I, I cooperate with anything has to be done. You know, I'm not run away. I'm not, you know. Yeah, no, I know you didn't. You didn't run. You're here. You're talking to us. You, you, you. And I know is whatever happened. And and this is our thing. This is why we're doing what we're doing to try to get some explanation or reasoning. Because when somebody outside, when everybody that's going to look at this situation and look at what you did, if there's no reason for what you did. That's worse than if there's at least you had some reason for what you did. I mean, if they said, you know what? He doesn't know why he did it. He just took her life and put her out of her misery. That's no. But if you at least have some kind of reason, some kind of justification, some kind of explanation, you know, explanation of why you did what you did, let me tell you, man, not only for you, but for everybody else looking at this, at least have some kind of closure, some kind of like, you know... Thing. I wish I can, I can and, have and, something and, right now to and tell to you. And to be honest man. with you, all the things that he's been giving you, saying like, you know, relationship problems or sex problems or wants to leave you, go to Peru. Okay, I would understand maybe that gave you justification. You got started drinking, you weren't thinking straight, you got enraged, you got pissed off, and you took it out on her. I mean, but by you saying... That's an explanation. By, One of those by, is an explanation. By saying, I got, we were drinking, then I got enraged and took it out on her, but I don't know why. That, I mean, that shows that you're cold-hearted, man. You look like an animal. You look like an animal in that sense. And I know that's not the case. See, you got to remember something, too. When we do an investigation like this, we, you know, we're we talking to neighbors. We're knocking on... You live in an apartment complex, mm -hmm. okay? Your neighbors are right there. The walls are thin, okay? So they hear what sounds like construction going on in the apartment next door. Because you're breaking shit for hours. And they hear a male voice screaming for hours. But they don't hear any female voice. 
Because I was, I was fine. I was for fine. hours before nine one one was called. Before nine one one was called. Yes, around one o'clock in the morning. Nine one one was called sometime around three thirty, somewhere rough there. Saying what? I don't know what you were saying. I have no idea. But I remember when I screamed. It was when I I know that she wasn't breathing. It's when I started scream. Okay, but okay. that's where that's where it's where where I screamed. But you didn't call nine one one right away. Uh, of course I did call nine one one. I called 911 when she wasn't breathing. I called 911 right away. It's desperate. You know? The, Two the, hours prior to you called 911, you were yelling and screaming and, and breaking things in the house. A breaking things. It's, it's, and, that's that's right. true. I and you're yelling things. and screaming, but yet there's no female voice yelling and screaming. Do you understand what we're trying to say? Maria wasn't yelling and screaming because Maria couldn't scream. Because either A, she was passed out, or she was dead already. No, she wasn't dead, man. She was like this when I called nine one one. So for two hours, roughly two and a half hours, what were you doing besides breaking up your apartment? I think you were breaking up the apartment because you realized two that for two and a half hours she was dead, and you panicked. Panicked when you realized it, started breaking shit, not knowing what to do. You took it too far. Took it too far. Okay? This is what I think. And then eventually you call 911. We want you to just explain to us why. Okay? Why? That's what we're trying to explain to you. That without the why, without the why this happened, without the explanation as to what happened, it looks like you're some cold-blooded, sadistic killer. Like, you just... I'm not. I know that. I know that. So does he. And I mean that when I say that. I know you're not a, a sadistic killer. Okay? But something set you off. Something made you so angry that this happened. Okay? Ripping out your girlfriend's insides physically and then being on the floor in the closet... Is not rough sex. We've gotten past that part. Okay? What caused you to become so violent? The alcohol. And and what? And what? Not just the alcohol. What else? Something else, man. We, what I wasn't on the, my mind. The alcohol was over me. I, yeah, but you already told us several times you can handle your alcohol and have sex when you have alcohol. Yeah. But I told you that last night, we both get really, really, really drunk. And I believe that. I believe that. But at some point in time, you were up, you were in a rage, you were destroying the apartment for at least an hour and a half to two hours prior to calling to not call 911. It's not you're like you're laying on the couch, passed out, drunk. You're up. Things are going on. So the whole that you were so drunk that you don't know what was going on is, I don't believe. It's... Because, you know what, you know what if you're so drunk and not knowing what's going on, you're laying on the ground sleeping. There's no, there's no explanation for me to, to, to kill my girl, man. Is there, I didn't okay. mean to kill her. Understand. We understand, understand that. that. We're, we, we're not saying that you did. Did you hear what he just said? Did you hear what he just said? What? Listen. We understand that you didn't mean to kill your girl. But whatever came over you, the rage that came over you, caused you to do actions that caused her death. Unfortunately, it's an accident. It caused whatever happened to her was you had no control over. I mean, it just, you were in a rage, you were drinking, things went on, and she ended up losing her life for that. We're not saying that you intended to kill her. We're not saying that you went in there last night, went to Chili's, got some tequila, and said, you know what, tonight, I'm going to kill her. But no, one thing led to the other, and it got worse. You know, you ended up doing what you did. And you're not going to get me to believe that you guys have a very normal, very tame sex life, where the, the kinkiest or craziest thing you've done is a 69. Mm, right. And then all of a sudden, you're she wants there. you to shove a beer bottle inside of her pussy, that's what she was telling me, man. And she wants it, and she wants you to shove your fist in there, your hand in there. That's what she was telling me. Fidel, come on! I don't believe that. Okay, I just don't believe that. Because you know what? I'm older than you. 
He's older than you. Mm-hmm. We're both men, okay? As are you. These things are gradual, okay? You take steps. Oh, we do a little bit of this. You maybe try this. Try some of this. I don't like that, so we won't do that anymore. Let's try this. Let's try this. There's no way <clears throat> before last night had you ever put anything else inside of her besides your... Mm. No. Your penis and what else? Maybe a couple fingers? Not even fingers. So you expect us to believe that from just your penis... To a beer bottle and then your fist? No way. Fidel, listen. Now you're making yourself out to sound because it just doesn't make sense. And anyone that hears that is going to go, no way. You don't go from a penis to a beer bottle to your whole fist and up to your elbow. That just doesn't happen without some type of reason. Exactly. And that happened. Because you got so angry, okay? And that's what we want you to explain to us. Paint the picture for us of what happened so you look like a human being that just snapped, okay? Instead of some sadistic monster who said, you know what? Fuck this bitch, I'm just going to rip her guts out. I don't think you're that person. Either does he. But you have to explain to us so we can explain to other people. Listen, he had no he didn't mean to do this. He really didn't. They got into an argument, they got into a fight, and 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 you know, with the alcohol, one thing happened, you know, but you have to explain that to us. Okay, um the the crime scene the the they, they shake the she had something with the with the tequila caused something to her too. The tequila? Well, yeah. it caused her to be intoxicated. Absolutely. Intoxicated and something to... Because she wasn't breathing. She wasn't breathing. I understand that. She wasn't breathing because she was bleeding. She bled out. Because of what was ripped out from her insides. That's why she wasn't breathing. Oh, my. She fell out of my hands. Out of my hands. Fidel, 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 listen, listen, look at me. The only thing I'm thinking is, her is dead, my kids are never going to see them again. That's all, that's all everything I think of right now, man. But my job, but I you was fighting for this job forever. Listen to me. Everything is going to listen, right now. Listen, listen, if you explain to us, give us the reason, okay, of why this happened. You're human, mm-hmm. Okay. As am I. As is he. Make yourself out to be the human being that you are. By doing that, you have to give an explanation as to why this happened. Do you understand what we that when I say that? You have to to explain why these things happen. To explain why Maria is dead. Listen, I'd like to be able to to stand up on your behalf and say, listen, he was extremely remorseful. He had no intentions for this to happen. Okay? He didn't mean to do this. But unfortunately, this is why it happened. He had too much to drink, and he had an an argument between that and the drinking and everything else, X, Y, and Z, whatever it may have been. But you have to explain that so we can explain it to other people to make you... He's human. It happens. Okay? You didn't intend to kill her. Of course not. Right. So explain to us what took place that led up to it. You know. You don't want to remember. But I know you do remember. And it takes a man, a true man, to admit, okay, Fucked up, man. I made a mistake. I had no intention to kill her. I had no intention to do it. But this is what happened. It takes a man to do that. It takes more of a man to admit when he's wrong. And it takes a man to cry. Be that man. Be that person. Because that's who you are. Mm, she was telling me she, she's going to Peru. She was, 
She need to go to Peru because she, she was missing her mother and you know and I'm not gonna be able to use the car to go to work and you know the just start screaming at me and all that uh, I get pissed and start punching the shit I really don't remember when I punched the shit you just tell me I know I get pissed because of that then, then after that, I don't know how, how we end them up in the class or whatever. I know we made peace, but when we were doing the making love, she told me something that, that really don't. It just she she changed my name. She called me the the other fucking name of the other guy, and then she said it twice. Fidel became enraged after hearing Maria utter her estranged husband's name twice during sex. At that point, he trashed the apartment. Eventually, he went back to Maria, who he found lying unconscious, but still alive. He inserted a beer bottle, a flat iron for hair, and both fists inside of her. He inserted his arm up to his elbow, taking a hold of whatever body tissue he could, and ripped her insides out. And she was wrong, and she was confusing me with him. I, I didn't want to kill her. I know, I killed her, that's whatever I did with her was the reason, but she was asking me about the bottle, and she was asking me about the hand too, and maybe things go a little bit far because, you know, once she, she's confusing me with the other one, and she told me to do stuff with her that I've never done before, I think that she might think that's the, that's the other stuff that she does with the other one before. Things go out of hands. I never, you know, never mean to kill her. I don't think you did. Never mean to kill her. Man. Walk us through what happened. That's what. That's what happened. Then we were in the closet. As far as I remember, is you know, I don't remember taking nothing in my hand out of from her. Mary, I injured her, of course, I did. Did at any point she tell you it hurts, stop? Never. That's, that's one of the stuff that, uh, never. But, okay. The, if she was telling me that I was screaming or something, somebody would hear it. So she was, me. was she passed out? No, she wasn't passed out. She was calling me the other dude name. Where was that at? Was that in, in the closet. In the closet. This is where we start, over there. Okay. Explain to us, tell us what happened. Then, we were fucking and she was telling me the other dude name. What name was she calling you? Uh, Norbert. Norbert? Is that her ex-husband? Yeah. Okay. So, you know. So what did you do at that point? At that point, I got mad. You get really, really mad. And I can't believe it. It's the same. It, she, when she told me about the go to Peru or whatever, it's when I start breaking the stuff. And the wall and the, the, the glass and everything. And then the other point is when she, she was confusing me with him, you know, calling me him, his name. And asking me to do stuff with her that I never done before with her. You know, it, it makes me feel bad, very bad, I mean like, like you feel like he was, like you were not adequate enough, like you couldn't satisfy her, uh, I'm asking you, no, that I'm always satisfied, <coughs> she was, she was okay with me, but, I don't know, just what happened with her, she, she gets so drunk, I don't know why she was confusing me, and telling me Robert, and besides Fidel, uh, but I never mean to kill her, man, I really don't, I, uh, I believe you, you know, I believe you, I forgive her everything, whatever she told me, whatever she, you know. What did you What did you put inside of her besides the bottle and your fist? I don't remember to put nothing. That thing with the hair. You put the, You put that in there. Yeah. You did. Yeah, I did. Okay. What else? I don't remember to put nothing else, man. Like, like, like I'm telling you. Like, the thing that you put uh, for for the hair. Do you remember what it looks like? Uh, I think it's. Well, it's the only one she have, I think, is the red one or with, with, the, with the black things all around. Mm -hmm. 
strike or ping. I really don't don't remember. When you put it, when you put it inside, of it, was it plugged into the wall? No, of course not. I, I'm asking. I don't know. Of course not. Man. Like I said, I, I didn't. I, I didn't do nothing. I mean, well, show me. Show us what you were doing when you were putting it. When you put it inside of it. It's just doing like this. It's doing like this. <coughs> with, that, with that, with my hands too. I'm sorry. With the bottom, with that, and yeah, with everything, just like this. Man, I, I so need to, she was to at her life, man. But listen, in the closet, you're doing that. You're putting the thing inside of her. She goes unconscious. No, man, she's she's, she's she, bleeding a lot of blood. I know she was bleeding. I know she was bleeding, but she 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 was. She, to be honest, she didn't walk to the bathroom, but she was like, okay. you know. But I know she didn't walk to the bathroom, like you no, said. She didn't walk to the bathroom, but she was like, you know, like a, like she's a crawling. A, exactly. But she wasn't crying or nothing. She mm-hmm. was just, she, she was like, she couldn't stand up. I mean, well, she couldn't stand up because, because of the injuries. Plus, a little, probably a little bit of the alcohol, a combination a of little alcohol. bit, no, a lot of a alcohol. Lot. So, the part about her saying, "I gotta throw up," that's not true. No, that is true. That is true. She went into the bathroom like that, mm-hmm. and she <coughs> told me about the throwing up to get out of the bathroom. She was talking, she was conscious. Okay. And then I went to smoke a cigarette and I go back. I see her like, like this, you want to call 911. I really, the screams and all that, I, I <clears> know <throat> I have to, you have to be me. But, but I call 911 when, when I saw her that she was like, like this. But that, call 911. the whole incident inside the closet when she's calling you by a different name and they get you very upset, you're breaking things. That that occurs for over a period, uh, quite a while. Oh, that's, wow. that's over a, quite a while, or a long period of time, correct? Uh, yeah. That's like how long? Like an hour? An hour and a half? Really don't don't remember, man. Like, I mean, it wasn't like a two minute thing. It was from from when when I start breaking stuff. Uh, when when I finish breaking stuff or whatever. From that time until I call 911. Mm-hmm. <coughs> were, were you upset because of not only her calling you a name and or doing what you did, you started breaking stuff because you were just frustrated, upset, angry? Yeah, but I didn't. I never, I never hit her. I never. I know. You're breaking your the walls and stuff like that. She's in the closet at that time? I, I don't. She maybe she was okay. She's in the closet. So she's in the closet, and you left her there to go. And you were breaking stuff. I'm asking. I don't know how. Okay, I don't. Do I really don't remember when I break the stuff. I mean, did you go back in the closet after breaking the stuff and and and, and, and put things inside of her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, but the things inside of her, she was she was telling me, right? She was she was telling me to do that shit, and I knew. It. She first she called me the names. Then when I came in and started breaking the stuff. Then when I go back, she told me to do the stuff. And then I get mad again. You know? Because... You took it a little... Uh, maybe too much? Too, yeah, too man. extreme? Yeah, man. I was from very, very... I know you're over, frustrated. You're drunk, you're frustrated, you're upset. I didn't well, mean you're to angry. kill her, man. I, I really don't mean it. to kill her, we man. Understand it. We understand that. That's my love, man. We but, understand that. But she pissed you off because she called you another man's name. I can tell you right now. If I'm having sex with my wife and she calls out another man's name, I'm gonna get pissed off. Okay? It's human nature, dude. Don't 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 it this is not human, man. I just took her life. I don't mean to, but I did it. Because you got enraged. No, because I was wrong. If I was sober, maybe I understand. Maybe I just left the apartment. But I was wrong. You're not a bad person, bro. You're a better person for talking about it. Absolutely. I'm not even going to be able to see her, man. Like... I 
because I'm going to jail right away. Are you away. sorry for what you did? Huh? Are you sorry for what you did? Uh, sorry? Of course, man. What do you think? What do you think? If I can go back, it's time, man. I prefer to die, man. I prefer to die first. Why were you not telling us the truth at the beginning? Oh, screw it, man. I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna see her again. I'm never gonna see my kids. And in the bathroom, the whole situation in the bathroom, is that exactly how it happened? Yeah. I put water on her face, you know, I washed my hands in the, in the sink. Did you wash anything? Did you have any other clothing on? What were you wearing? I was wearing this shirt with a black shirt. With a black shirt? Where's your black shirt? I don't know. Over there somewhere. You took it off? I think so, yeah. You took it off before you washed your arms? Wash your hands? I don't know. I just don't remember that. You were wearing it during the incident, though? During the time that you were having sex with her, were you wearing a shirt? Did you take it off before you called 911 no, or after I you think, called 911? I think, no, I think I, I took the shirt off when, when we go to the house and we were drinking. I think so. I'm not, I'm not sure right now. I really don't remember that. Part. I'm just more concerned of what you what you're wearing, what you did with the stuff after the bathroom. No, just just wearing this, I guess. What was she wearing? Maria. Yeah. Maria was just like just she had some clothes. Then we we're gonna make love to to get out. I mean, uh, no more. But I don't remember really exactly right now what you what you were Besides the flat iron in the bottle, there's other things in that house. What else was put inside of there? If I tell you now, I, I lie because I really I remember pretty 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 much the bottle, the thing for the hair in, in my hand. But I if I use something else, I really don't don't know. I really don't know. I mean, like. This, I've been trying to recover in my mind, everything, 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 I'm, I'm trying to be honest. Uh, well, you, you're, you're being honest, you're you know, starting to be honest, but there's still some things that we need to cl clear up. I mean, I know you were scared, you're afraid of what people are going to think, you're afraid of what's going to happen to you I mean to before, so you, you weren't telling the truth at the beginning. Right. I was telling half and it's truth. important that you're completely honest now and, and, and honest finish now. with the truth. Okay, because you don't want to you don't want to start one way and then look at you know mm -hmm. like a bad person. You're not a bad person, right? You made a mistake. This is something that you you know what you're gonna have to live with the rest of your life, okay? Mm -hmm. And you know the, you know the, the way to deal with that is to get it off your chest and to be honest with everything. Okay? I'm being honest, man. I'm not gonna forget it. I mean, she she was uh, you know a special person in your life. You guys just had a it just things didn't work out, you know. It's something that bothers me right now, man. I really want to ask you because I know I'm going to jail, but like, how many times you think it's gonna be this? What do you want to ask her? No, to who? What did you say? You want to ask her something? No, to you. Oh, like I know I'm going to jail. Mm -hmm. I have two keys and. You know, and everything. How many years do you think this is going to cost me? I don't know. I can't tell you that. I, I have no idea. What I can tell you is that if you're honest and you're, you, you are truthful about everything that happened that night, that it will, it is going to help you. Okay? Because you're going to make, make yourself out to be a better person than what is portrayed in that scene. Okay? Like I said, Anybody that walks into that scene and sees all this blood and 
what, what, ha- what was going on here. They have no reason or explanation for why, why it was done. I mean, look, if you, you know, she did things and messed with your mind that caused you to snap, you know? I didn't, I didn't want to kill her, man. I didn't try to kill her. I just, I just, just played a role. It just happened. When she, did she crawl out of the closet or did you burn her? Help her get out of the closet. No, no, no. She just went like this, the bathroom. To the bathroom. To the bar, the Before bar, you so said that you, you put your, um, hand inside her in the bathroom. In the bathroom. You did it again inside there? Uh-huh. Okay. Anything else inside of her in the bathroom? No, man. Just, just I don't know if I have to bring the bottle and the thing with me or if I use it in the closet. I know I use it, but, mm-hmm. you know, I don't remember if it's nothing else on her. I don't, you know. What do you think about all, what did you think about all the blood? What was going through your mind? So scared, man. Scared. Very scared. Fidel Lopez would plead guilty to the first degree murder and sexual battery of Maria Nemeth in July of 2017. He changed his original plea of not guilty to guilty in order to avoid the death penalty. Under the terms of the plea agreement, he will never be able to file an appeal or be eligible for parole. Before his sentencing, Fidel apologized to Maria's family, saying, Today, I'm happy to fulfill this conviction. I know that what I did has to be paid, and I agree. I will pay with my life for the life I took. And to Maria's family, I ask for forgiveness. Maria's family would tell the judge that they now only had her memory to cling to. Her father would make a statement to the court after Fidel's sentencing, saying, If I had to summarize the life of Maria, it would be very difficult to express it in a few lines. I just want to tell you all that she was, and will continue to be, a model of affection, effort, perseverance, and love of humanity. On August 8, 2017, Fidel was transferred from the Broward County Jail and into the Florida prison system. Fidel Lopez remains incarcerated at the Hamilton Correctional Institution Annex in Jasper, Florida, where he will remain for the rest of his life.